Happy Friday, fourth graders. By popular demand, you guys wanted a paper Rubik's Cube. So I couldn't find an actual Rubik's Cube made of paper, but this is something they call an infinity cube. So today we're going to work on that. So this project might take a little bit of time, but it's actually not as tricky as it seems. So some supplies you might need are a pencil, some tape, a pair of scissors, lots of squares of paper in lots of colors, a ruler, So your first step is to cut your squares of paper. You could do them all the same color, or you could do three colors, but to make the tutorial easier, I used six colors for each side of the cubes. So you'll need six colors and eight squares of each color. You can use a ruler to measure it out. I used a post-it note as a tracer and traced out my squares that way. So maybe pause the video and cut out your sheets of paper. So this is one of the cubes. I put one together to show what it would look like. Here are six colors for each side of the cube. So I'm going to show you how you fold each sheet of paper. You're going to fold it in half. You don't have to crease so hard. And then you're going to unfold it and fold the outside to the inside, like this. Do the other side. And you'll leave it folded this time. Now you're going to fold it in half the other way. Again, you don't have to crease as hard, it's just to make a line for you to fold the edges in. So you're going to fold each end to the inside, inside crease. This crease you should definitely press and make really sharp. So that's how you make one of the sides of the cube. And you'll repeat this process for the rest of your sheets of paper. So now you have all your folded sides. Here's a cube I already started. So I find my yellow piece and I match it up with the color on each side of this cube. So I'll start off with purple. And I notice that the purple flap goes on this side of the yellow piece. So you just hold it with your fingers. Now I'm going to work on my orange side. So I see that my yellow flap goes into 
the slot with the orange. And now I'm going to take my blue piece and match it up the same way it is on my cube. As you get more pieces together, you can cup it in your hand, like so, and it gets a little easier to put together. So I'll grab my green piece. Slide it in. And my final piece of the cube is my pink piece. So I'm just checking to make sure all the colors are on the right sides. And there you go. Push all my sides in. Now you're going to want to make eight of these cubes. And you want each cube to have the same colors on the same sides. So let's try this again. So a little editing and magic, I have all eight cubes done. Now you're going to want to line up these cubes in columns of two, but you want all the cubes to line up in the same way. So as you can see, the green is on the left side, the orange is on the right side, and the yellow is on the front side facing you. The blue is on top, and the pink is on the other side. Purple is underneath.
So now you're going to want to take your bottom four cubes and flip them the way that I am. You want purple, the bottom piece, to be on top. And you're going to want your yellow pieces to face the yellow pieces on the blue side. So as you notice, all the greens are on one side, all the oranges are on the other side, and you have blue and purple on the bottom. So now you're going to tape your cubes together. This is a little bit tricky. So grab a piece of tape, and you're going to want to tape your bottom two purple cubes, like this. Because I'm making a bigger cube, I'm going to use two pieces of tape. But if you make a smaller size cube, then you can just use it. So you tape it like this. Now you're going to want to tape the other side of your taped edge. So you're going to take your two cubes and you're going to fold the tape sides towards each other. You can see the sticky side of the tape. And you're going to tape over this edge on the other side. This creates a tape hinge that allows the infinity cube to move. Now you're going to repeat this step on the top to blue cubes. Now you're going to flip to the other side of the tape hinge and tape here. So now you're going to tape the orange edges on the right side of your purple cubes together. So do the same process. Two pieces of tape. And then we'll tape the other side of this edge. So you flip your cube, look for your tape pieces. And tape this side. Now line your cubes back up and do the same thing on the other side with the green squares.
So fold your pieces back together and you can see you have this hinge. Now you might be able to guess, you'll repeat the step on your blue squares. So keep the orange edge. Flip your cube and tape the inside of the hinge. Now you do it to the other side. Moving forward, you definitely could make some of these infinity cubes made of any colors you want. It's helpful in the beginning to have different colors so you can kind of keep track of where you're supposed to put your hinges. Okay. So now you set your cubes back up the way they were originally. So now flip your purple set over and flip your blue set over. So purple's on top and blue's on the bottom. Line them up. And tape the two cubes in the middle to each other. So the top and the bottom cube. On the right side. and the purple and blue on the other side of the middle cubes. Like this. Now, you have to take the other side of your hinge. So flip your blue pieces over. Rotate the whole thing, and you can see where your tape hinges are, so you're going to tape these down. And now you've finished your infinity cube. It infinitely folds over and over again. So one thing I've noticed when making them is that sometimes the cubes start to fall apart. If this happens, you can tape the edges of the cube like this. So before you play with it, I would probably recommend checking to make sure that the pieces aren't falling out of your cubes. So I just put a little piece of tape there on the edge, and it holds the pieces of the cube together.
So once you're done with that, you're ready to play with your infinity cube. So obviously this one is a little bigger, and the one I showed you in the beginning is smaller. So you can make them pretty much any size you want. You just have to change the size of your original paper squares. So I hope you guys have fun making your infinity cubes. Have a fabulous weekend, fourth graders.